Hello everyone, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. So last episode, we uh, increased the, the line here to deliver bricks as well to Long Beach or construction materials. I, I'll say bricks like every time, you, you know me, <laughs> that won't change. But we grew, grew the city from 100 residents to 172 at the moment, which is great. We are supplying all the demand for uh, construction material in the city, which is also nice. So the train is bringing a little bit more every single time and we are making a lot of money on that line as well. But now we do have this fuel being delivered here and that we uh, sent on our cargo planes to Grand Rapids just over there, just here. But I want to connect these two cities as well with trucks. I don't think we... I don't think I need another train line here to connect both. Unless... Hmm, just thinking about this now. Unless I want to make a passenger line as well here. So I could benefit from, from having that. Mm, now that's not a bad idea. I think I'll try it. Make uh, make a train, a mixed train with uh, fuel and people. What could go wrong? <laughs> so yeah, I'll I'll try doing that. Now, yeah, I think for the moment that a bit. I'll do this and. Yeah, and then I'll have some other plans later on as well, but for today's episode, I'll try to build this new train line, which I don't know exactly where we are going to start. I want to go all around here or around here. Maybe this side is a little bit easier for a train line, just looking at the train over there. Let me take a look at that. Um, well, to be honest, this is pretty easy as well. We can even do some landscaping here. We can could go across the bay there as well, but maybe this time I want to keep it inland. This will make a nicer curve. I think I'll go this way and make something like this station around here and go that way. So let's try and do that.
Okay, we are back and I struggled here a little bit because I was trying to make this passenger train to be both carrying passengers and fuel, but it seems like I can do that. So unfortunately I had to change that and add another train that just carries fuel, which we do have here, if I can select it, there I go. So it's carrying one fuel at the moment. But now uh, Long Beach and Chula Vista are connected. We have a um, bus loop coming in here to take in passengers to the train station there. And the same thing in here as well. We have the stop here is a little bit further away because this is enough to cater for the train station plus all the residential area and we have another one in here for the industrial and same thing for delivering uh, fuel we have the the trucks coming in here and delivering fuel here and there because we do have two industrial areas there that use fuel which is weird because they're usually all together but in any case this is all connected we are delivering fuel and passengers across the cities I won't worry too much about the size of the amount of people we are carrying here and the how much we are spending on this line because in the future I think we can increase this line up to Auckland and maybe Oklahoma City as well. So let's see, this is something for the future. But yeah, now that everything is working, we just have to wait and see this series grow because yeah, they will grow eventually. Um, there you go, need more fuel there, just a matter of waiting and as you can see we are producing fuel now for the train line to uh, Chula Vista so all good, all working and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave me comments if you, you know a way to make both um, a train for passenger and fuel or cargo at the same time leave me a comment and let me know how you do it thanks again and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye